experienced players who have to take on bigger roles. The thing I always talk to younger players about, Kevin, is always accentuate the positives. Do what you do best and show that off as consistently as possible and then take the summers to improve your weaknesses. Players always improve the most during their off season, but when coaches are asking you to accentuate your positives, stay right in that role and be the best you can with that. Work on the weaknesses in the off season. It helps too if you have a coach who's in that mindset of developing and, and showing some patience. Well, not only a coach, Kevin, I'll, I'll go as far as to say that sometimes when you have a young player get drafted, for him to have an, a mentor automatically on that first team that he's with starting his first three or four years in league is vitally important and you'll see if you go through track records some of the most successful teams have had veterans in position where the young star is trying to find his footing hmm. we've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one so for New Orleans right now Julius Randle is out there with Okafor then it's Holiday. then there's Lonzo Ball and it's Williamson in at the three Rondo against Ball. About one minute into the first quarter. And finished off by LeBron. Nice to see LeBron have a straight line drive. Somebody fell asleep there. Here's Ball. Outside Holiday. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Holiday's got his second bucket. That's a confident-looking shot there from Drew Holiday, playing the in-between game. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. That's a perfect lob leading to a spectacular dunk from Davis there. Threw it up on time, on target. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Here's Rondo. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Rondo. And defensively, this is a nightmare. He's already on a roll. I love his will, his take charge attitude, the aggressiveness, all of that showing up here in the first. And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. <laughs> and the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you see so many picks, but this one sets up the defense well. No one rotates over. Bang. James misses. Like the tactics on defense there, refusing to give the shooter the easy layup at the rim. Ball no good. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Lakers. Hard to believe, isn't it, that a few years ago the direction for this Pelicans team was uncertain. And I like the fact that Alvin Gentry has found his way to put his imprint on this team. A lot of people not sure of, of how and if he could do that. He certainly has. He took some time to get those ideas in place. And the offense was never a problem with this group, especially with the way that Drew Holiday had such a huge year. It's going to be about some defense and some depth for them to push it a little bit further this season. Here's Kuzma following the basket by Julius Randle. Kuzma kicks to Davis. LeBron outside. Fires the three. James with another miss. He just can't find the bottom of the net right now. He's looking frustrated. This quarter has been a bit of a nightmare for him. Holiday against Davis. And that one's good. Williamson. Enjoyed that unselfish play from Holiday for that swing pass to the open teammate. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Randall against LeBron. Passes it to Kuzma. He feeds it to Davis. Over Okafor. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Rondo with the steal. Pass to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Orchestrating right now. Rondo should be playing with a baton. New Orleans in the lead. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting cast. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Ron 
Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. Substitution here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Davis. Muscala comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Stevenson's checked in for James. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Here's Hart. Pass to Ingram. 132 left in the first. And Lance Stevenson pulls it down. The Lakers trade. Rondo dishes to McGee. Hammers the alley oop through. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Now here's Peyton. He kicks it to Ingram. 105 left in the first quarter of the game. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big-name free agents, and they succeeded. They got the biggest name of them all in LeBron. LeBron coming to L.A. completely shifts the mindset of this organization. Team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well. Still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now. And that one falls for Ingram. And Ingram, the, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better. So he hits one of two from the strike. Pelicans a much better team last year than they've been in the past. Still have some areas to address before maybe they become a, a home court advantage team or a top four seed. But the number one thing is they've got to get some more consistency in their outside game. Shot clock at six. Rondo kicks to Stevenson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive back door. Rebound by JaVale McGee. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And, and just keeping his teammates involved. This is the kind of leadership you like to see. Well, you could trademark this brand of basketball, running through the progressions and working around for decent looks. Peyton kicks to Ingram over Stevenson, and that one's good, Ingram. And this is what it's all about, guys, the competitive spirit, the energy that we're seeing. This one's got the feeling like it's going to go down to the wire. And if it does, as evenly as these two teams have played here, it's anyone's guess who's going to come out on top. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Pelicans lead by one. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. You see a lot of players who pick up a controller and fire up NBA 2K, thank goodness, <laughs> including the king himself, LeBron James. I play 2K all the time. Seriously, when I'm playing the game. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, Greg, with basketball. And that's who Bron is. He lives, breathes, and eats basketball. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. 
And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? And boy, I tell you, it didn't take them long to find their rhythm. Strong offense through one. A nice game plan coming in, and right now sticking to it. It's a nice lead that they have. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. We've got Johnson. Ingram is out there with Hay. Then there's Alfred Payton, and it's Hart, and it's the shooting guard. And it's Bullock missing. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. And here is Peyton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Ingram. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And it's a five-point New Orleans lead. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting around 40% from the floor here. Stevenson against Johnson. Stevenson can't hit. Not a lot of defense there. You can't afford to let guys shoot freely from the mid-range. They're not going to miss those all that often. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Brent, as we take a look at lineups around the NBA, teams trying to go with five highly skilled players at once. Where does that leave the traditional big? Well, most teams just don't have one now, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, they're just not on they're the roster. They're hard to find, yeah. Well, they're hard to find, but there just aren't many out there. So a lot of teams just elect not to, to have one. And what we're seeing over the course of the last couple years is the matchups when all of a sudden a white side is going to see a Drummond or uh, you're going to see all of a sudden Valanciunas play against DeAndre Jordan. It's usually because you have one, we'll play ours kind of mentality. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Lakers trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It's stolen by Randall. On the pass to Williamson. Puts up a three. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And here is Los Angeles now. Caldwell Pope outside. Down low. And James throws it down. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Pelicans leading by four. More outside. Here's the teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. Moore's got the lead up to six now for New Orleans. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Stevenson kicks to Davis. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Randall's got his fourth rebound in this one. And with everything that Anthony Davis does on offense, it's just mind-boggling. His scoring inside and out, the percentages, he does it all. He is undoubtedly one of the best big men in the league, and many would argue he is the best in the NBA. James and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with Anthony Davis, the stat lines, Greg, he can post on any given night are just absurd. Really, Davis still strong defensively, but he really impacts every facet of the game. One of the rare players who can carry a team on both ends of the floor. There just aren't many great players that can lead a team to a championship, but I think Davis is of that mold. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. 
son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. That one misses. Size and speed and force of LeBron James is something to behold. And he just seems to be getting better and better. That is scary. And, and offensively, they've done a great job here of staying in rhythm. Well, they've been the better shooting team throughout the first half because of their patience and because of their shot selection. Ball, the pass to Holiday. There's the basket and make it a double-digit lead. And now an 11-point New Orleans lead. Lakers have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting timeout, 40%. Timeout. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water. It was like an urban war zone. We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. His drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. And the Lakers making a change here. Muscala's checked in. Diallo, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Stevenson against Ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Three from Stevenson. Rebound by Drew Holiday. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's Ball. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, there's a ton of talk about Lonzo Ball, but if you focus just on what he brings to an offense, there's a lot to like. Yeah, I mean, he just sees so much on the floor. I mean, he sees all the cuts and angles, both offensively and defensively and, and we know his shot will be a work in progress but it shows some improvement in consistency the second half of last year and for all the circus that can surround ball off the court you forget that he is already an elite playmaker in the NBA the first one falls and at 6-6 ball very similar to Jason Kidd in terms of the vision that he plays the game with his IQ is off the charts. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And after the Lakers landed LeBron, the talk was about if they would add Kawhi Leonard as well. Ultimately, it didn't happen. And Lakers want to keep their young guns in the end. And LeBron has said he felt that the team was ready without Kawhi and came to the Lakers because of that youthful core they had in place. Passes it to Williamson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He has seven. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Stevenson against Ball. Caldwell Pope kicks to Davis. Ball against Stevenson. And they get it. That one misses. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Just a little lackluster so far with his effort. He's been very limited due to his poor shooting. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Kicks to Davis. Just excellent recognition by Anthony Davis to sell the shot fake. Gets the defense Two shots up in the air. Two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Impressive thing about Anthony Davis is just how much ground he can cover during the game. 
has come into this league as one of the best running big men in transition. Still a huge weapon for him. He hits the second from the line. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Elford Payton. Elford, great passing in the first half. How does that impact the offense when the ball is moving like we saw it? Everybody's getting easy shots. You know, it's much easier than contesting shots, and uh, guys are knocking it down. Well, a really good first half, Elford. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for New Orleans in the first quarter. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. The second quarter was where they really opened things up. They were by far the stronger team, both defensively and when they had the ball. Their 13-point halftime lead, no accident. What did you think, Shaq, about New Orleans? Well, Kenny knows about this. I used to do this to his team all the time. Take advantage of you down low. Mismatch. Barbecue chicken alert. Make good entry passes. That led to some good looks. Obviously, a lot of points. When you control the pain, Ernie, you control the game. I was the master of controlling thy paint. Shaquille Kiss. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. Well, they're facing a team that shot... And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Talk about team defense, Brent, to develop trust. It seems like guys have got to communicate on the floor. I talk to my friends often who ask me about playing an NBA game and playing defense. They first start with saying that I didn't play any, but the second They're thing, wrong. The second they thing are that we wrong. get but the second thing we get to, <laughs> Kevin, is talking about really how intricate good defenses can be. You talk about communication, that's one thing, but throughout the course of the season, you build so much sweat equity on defense and trust by knowing that somebody's gonna be behind you, hearing that voice consistently. But positions on the floor where you almost develop play sets as a defensive team. Now, when you reach that level, that's the upper echelon. But that's when it really gets fun to be down on that end, to shut a team down, to keep a crowd quiet. Defense always begins with great communication. So many things. Rotations and playing angles and, and having the guy in back, you know what you can do well and what you can't do well if you're ahead of him. Well, that, Kevin, and also great teams who are adaptable to make changes on the fly. All of a sudden, a dead ball, coach calls out a different coverage you want to mess up the team's rhythm on the other end and five guys they snap to it and can carry out that defensive assignment in one play call that's great defense lebron and kuzma make up the forwards rondo and caldwell pope in the backcourt and it's davis in at the five down low that's the laker five outside holiday here's okafor and there's two points working on the glass paying off that time they're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Caldwell Pope, the Georgia product, when he's on the floor, it's for his defense. Can give you a handful of points, but what he takes away with defense is far more significant. One of the better perimeter defenders since entering the league.
JaVale McGee's check in for Davis. Top Kuzma. He's defended by Randall. Rondo kicks to Kuzma. Lakers working the ball around now. Shot clock at five. James wide open. Trains the three pointer. James has got eight. And with Caldwell Pope in his defense, he can guard any type of perimeter play. Yeah, I mean, he has the long arms to bother small forwards and fast feet to stay with point guards. Really gives the lineup a lot of options in terms of matchups when he's on the floor. Great instincts on defense, and it's very hard to shake as he'll hound you through screen. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. James looking it over. Over Williamson. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Ten points for him. I can't be frustrated at him tonight. He's doing his job. I'd like to see his guys step up a little more. They double him with James. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That'll be his second foul of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. New Orleans also making some changes. Johnson comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Etwan Moore checking in for Lonzo Ball. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Johnson, that's for two. And the Pelicans miss again. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. Yeah, and that quick first step that Caldwell Pope possesses is lethal. Drawing the contact there thanks to his aggressiveness. For Los Angeles, they have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. The first one falls. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Lakers. Hayes, he's checked in for New Orleans. Peyton comes in for Drew Holiday. He's off on the second. Alvin Gentry, one of the best offensive minds and coaches in this league. Remember, just in the recent past about his time in Phoenix and then in Golden State, now as the head coach of the Pelicans, and he's done a great job just speeding up this team, pushing the ball, and trying to find ways to put up points. Here's Caldwell Pope. That one wide left. Uh, those are the types of looks that you, you got to finish deep in the paint and limited defensive effort. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's LeBron. Pass to Wagner. Bullock kicks to James. Shot clock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Los Angeles with another miss. Pelicans leading by 15. 156 left in the third quarter, and it's Williamson missing. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. You know, sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Caldwell Pope for three. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Mr. Williamson. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. 15-point game. I love when guys still use fundamentals to box out and rebound. He cleared his man out effectively on the box and then stepped towards the ball to grab it. Here's Williamson. He scores a sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. 
and some guys just have a nose for scoring, and, and this one couldn't have been any easier. Well, on the defensive end, this is a joke. The lack of awareness is exactly why this team is so far behind. Timeout called the Lakers. And I like this timeout. You, you're getting terrible rim protection right now. Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. Ingram, he's checked in for New Orleans. Josh Hart comes in for each one more. Stevenson outside. Wide open look. And it's good. Two points. Stevenson's got his second bucket. Pelicans leading by 15. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Tries from 10. And it's Williamson missing. L.A.'s gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Up top, Bullock. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Chandler kicks to Bullock. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Davis gets it to go. Even though Davis gets bodied just a little bit, he still knocks down the shot right in the defense's face. Stevenson against Payton. Pass to Williamson for Davis, and the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Hey, don't be a Keep playing. We're getting good looks. We're going to start making some of them. It's more important that we get reps at playing the right way. He's chipping away. Plenty of game. Sounds like he's happy with their shot selection. Just need more of them to fall. Yeah, the shots have been there, and I love how Coach Walton stayed positive with his guys. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So for New Orleans right now, they've got Hart. He's out there with Julius Randle. Then it's Ingram, and it's Peyton in at the point. The shot's good from Hayes. Well, he's like a fumbling banker right now, dropping dimes with ease. I like how well he led his teammate on that possession. Stevenson outside. Here's Kuzma. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Ingram. New Orleans leading by 15. Peyton left side to the left side wing. Here's Hart. He's guarded by Stevenson. Just five on the clock. Pulls up from the corner. Chandler with the rebound. This is when you're just surprised that a guy would miss that kind of look. The defense really did not do a lot there. Up top, Stevenson. Outside for Davis. Baseline jumper. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. And that's now 11 points for Davis. Just love to see the confidence on display from Anthony Davis with the catch and shoot. Just another reason why he's considered one of the best players in the game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Two shots. Free throw good from Randall. Muscala, he's checked in for the Lakers. Hondo comes in for Reggie Bullock. New Orleans also making some changes. Okafor is checked in for Hayes. Holiday comes in for Brandon Ingram. And Ball subbed in for Alfred Payton.
And so he hits both. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Stevenson with the bounce pass. Muscala with the ball. He's against Okafor. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. New Orleans leading by 14. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And it's the quickness of ball that's a problem for defenders. Solid at finding ways to get fouled on the way up. At the line. That's good from Ball. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Lakers trail by 15 to the inside. Here's Stevenson. And again, the Lakers no good. Stevenson's gone two for eight, shooting just 25% from the field. Holiday looking over the floor. Ball kicks to Randall. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Timeout called the Lakers. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Now coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. He got on him. He said he's got to see more intensity. He said we put ourselves in this hole and we've got to work our way out of it. Show me you've got what it takes, guys. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Some changes for the Lakers. James comes in for Muscala. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Lance Stevenson. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Hart, feeds it to Okafor. Goes up to the stripe, and the shot falls short this time. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Hart, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Down by 15. Shot up two there. Davis attacking right now inside. Big man playing big and giving this offense maybe a little bit more of an edge on the inside. Ball the pass to Okafor. 
They get a hand on it, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. Right side, Holiday. A three-pointer off the mark. Lakers trail by 13. Now Rondo. James right side. Outside for Rondo. With a floater, he lays it in. Yeah, that's a creative pick and roll right there as Rondo is just waiting and toying and puppeting the defense. From 13. And again, New Orleans has no luck. We've got 148 left in the fourth. To the paint, stolen by Holiday. Passes it to Randall. Inside. Here's Okafor, drilled from 11 feet out. And the Pelicans lead by 13. Time running out for the Lakers. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Williamson, James covering. Pass to Holiday. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five on the clock. Rondo with the steal. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Pelicans. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. Back to Randall. Count that bucket. And this is how you close out a game, not taking any chances. Yeah, you got to be relentless in this game or the tide can turn on you. Not here, not tonight. On, the 10-footer. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. I'll tell you, when you're the visiting team, it can be hard to maintain focus. But not tonight. Uh, tonight they have stuck with what they do well, handling all the exterior pressure, and they're likely to come out on top here. James misses. Here's New Orleans. Here's Williamson. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done at multiple ends. Where does your focus been in terms of approach? Just taking what the defense gives him. Uh, I'm a lot more patient. Uh, let the game come to me. Uh, don't really try to force. David, thank you as always. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you later.